In this video, we are seed saving bok choy seeds. We are also starting a fall crop of this tiny bok choy in Dollar Tree vertical gardening containers, both the small and the regular size. The full tutorial on how to grow mini bok choy is already on my channel and can be found under the Growing Bok Choy, Baker Creek Seeds, and Container Gardening Playlists. You ready? But first... <laughs> the pods that are developing as these are going to seed. See how they've got multi-shoot from one plant. So it is now June 13th. Can you see how plump those bean pods look or those seed pods look? Uh, I say that because they remind me of some shriveled up beans or snap peas. You can see and feel the seeds in these little pods here. Yeah, look at that. Can you see that? That looks real swollen there. Look at that one. Interesting. Okay, it's June 25th and you can see the coloration of this is starting to lighten. The pods are definitely starting to swell and you can feel the seeds in there and I can almost feel this pod wanting to split open. Starting to turn to a pale green, almost yellowish. We're just waiting for these to dry up. Guys, today is July 9th we need to save our seeds because this is of course an annual and it is an heirloom and you're looking for seeds that look this dark and when you feel them, they feel dry. Some of these are sort of in the process. This is not dry. You can feel the moisture in here. Especially like, look at this one. This is like half dry, half moist. So I did pull one over here. And you can see how that looked there. Pretty tan. And you just split it in half, just kind of like you would a bean or a pea. And when they're dry, they're gonna split real easy for you. There's still one in the actual pod and look i've got about five or six right there yeah it'll be six a total of that one and you just keep doing that so let me pull another one here because i think this one's going to be fantastic if i were to just go like this all you would see all of the seeds drop right there see that i did that with one hand holding the camera and I've still got some here in my hand. So see how super easy that is? My, never mind the weeds, because this isn't really what's happening anymore. I'm not actively growing these. I was letting them dry out. So there's really no need for me to weed this. Let's look at this one. This one looks real good. Take this one as well. And I'm just going to pinch it off right here. Oh, can you hear how hollow that was? And after I get everything that I want picked in here, I'm just going to toss out the husks or the shells, whatever you'd like to call it. And I'm going to let these seeds themselves sit in this bowl for about a week. Because even though it appears as if everything is fully dry from the outside, I want these seeds to get all of the benefit of the air and the airflow in the house. All right, quick note. I pulled one of these green pods that obviously is not dry. You look inside. Those are not black at all. On the left, it looks like green seeds. On the right, it looks more of a brown sort of cognac color. And we're looking for dark, dark black. So 
Now my spring harvest of this bok choy went very well. Here's the original stem because I had let a few of them go to seed and you can see that they did some self seeding down here for now me. Now you can store your saved seeds either in paper, which will allow the moisture to continue to evaporate and it has a little bit more airflow in there. Or you can go airtight with some baggies or some glass jars. I do have two kinds of baggies over here. One is just the normal kitchen baggies, or we have a jewelry bag, which I got from Michael's, which will allow you, since this is smaller, to actually put inside of Christmas cards if you would like to save and share your seeds with others for the Christmas holiday or birthday Mother's Day, whatever you would like to do. If you like the idea of sharing your seeds via holiday cards and you don't really care for the plastic option, there are blank seed envelopes that you can get through Amazon or through the actual seed companies themselves. How you choose to store your seeds is going to be up to you, your needs, but mainly your geographical location, dry versus humid conditions. As your ideal seed storing temperature is 35 to 40 degrees Fahrenheit or one to seven degrees Celsius. 17th of August today and I am out here um, getting ready for a nice fall harvest of these mini bok choy. Already did this in spring. I already have a full video on this. However, I want to try these in the smaller Dollar Tree stackable containers. And a lot of times I like to just use a little bread knife here just to make a hole. And these only require one fourth inch. I just put one seed per area in here so I don't have to thin them. And you want to be bringing that as close to the lid as you can. I should say as close to the outside of your little compartment here. You don't want it in the center. You want it more over here uh, so that the sun can actually get to it. I know it seems counterintuitive because usually when we have a pot, we're going right in the center and you don't want to do that. I mean, look at this. You want it to be like right here so it can get that sun. So this is a great way if you don't really want to mess up your nails. So I, all I have to do is rake that soil over there. Pat it in lightly. And I watered this yesterday, but I'm going to water it again when I'm all done. And then I'm just going to lay them out flat so they can germinate properly. And then I will be back. Guys, those are all done now. Now I'm going to work on the regular size ones. And I'm really enjoying using this as a kind of makeshift elevated work surface. Leave these out flat during germination and then I'll stack them all up. It is August 25th. You can see some signs of fall, some leaves falling in here, but look at how well we are germinating our bok choy and it's right over here to the sides. Look at how well these little mini ones are doing for us. Look at that. That's so excellent. Guys, today is August. 27th and here is our mini tower of bok choy and since it's so little the splash back on this really makes this incredibly dirty but hopefully it'll fill out soon so what I want to do is since there's an empty spot right here so I want to come down here grab this back one and see if I can't transplant it. I towered these up over here it's gonna be 91 degrees today. So I'm gonna water everything. It's nice and early in the morning. September 3rd, tomorrow is Labor Day. You can see every single one came up and I only have one in each one. It took me um, a little extra time to do that, but I don't really care. So we passed all of our 
gorgeous marigolds here. Here I've got the tiny ones. And since it's gonna be 91 degrees and this is so God bless it, tiny, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna make sure it has plenty of water. And I might actually be able to move them since they're so little and I can take a couple at a time, move it into the shade for the next couple days. Thank you so much for watching and I invite you again to subscribe as I have been gardening for over 40 years and have a lot to teach, show, grow, review, experiment with and my favorite a specific variety everything deep dive. So let's try new things together, mix it up and have a glorious day.